Okay, on this example, we have an expandable sphere is being filled with a liquid at a constant rate from a tap. So we can kind of think of that as like a water balloon being filled out of a faucet. What we're told about this is when the radius of the sphere is 3 inches, so the radius is 3 inches, the radius is increasing, so positive rate of change, at 2 inches per minute. Our question is, how fast is that liquid coming out of the tap? So really, they've given us a function. They've told us V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And that's nice of them. We want to know how quickly is this volume changing. So we want to calculate what is the volume change with respect to time. So dV dt. So the other information that they're giving us is they told us the radius of the sphere is 3 inches and that the radius is increasing, so the rate at which the radius is changing, dr dt with respect to time, is 2 inches per minute. Alright, so what we want to do is take the derivative with respect to time of the function they gave us. So in this case, we'll take the derivative of v as just 1, but we also need to include a dv dt next to this, because we're taking the derivative with respect to time. Now the constants, 4 thirds, and pi can come along, and really we want to focus on the r cubed. Well, its derivative would be 3 r to the second power, right, using the power rule. But next to that, because our variable is r, we want to include a dr dt. We took the derivative of the radius r with respect to time. All right, because we're looking for dv dt, it's already on one side by itself. That's nice. Let's do a little bit of simplifying down on the right-hand side before we fill in. We have multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3, or a 3 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator makes 1. So we're still left with the 4 and the pi. In the radius of spot, in r's place, we can put a 3. And then in dr dt spot, we know that that's going to be a positive 2 because it's, it's increasing. All right, from here, it's just a little bit of simplifying down, and we'll have our solution. So dv dt is going to be 4 times pi times 9 times 2. Okay, so 4 times 9, 36 times 2 makes 72 pi is a nice exact answer. And the units here, because it's volume, uh, it turns out being inches cubed, cubic inches, per minute. Um, and why that is, is the 3 was um, three was the inches, and the rate here was inches per minute. Alright, so when you put the, the inches in here, you had two copies of them, so that's why we have inches times inches times inches, again, were the units on this too. Alright, so that's why it's inches cubed per minute. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck. Go related rates.